Hello, how you doing? It's Mr. Do The Math here, and today we're going to talk about slope intercept form. Alright? So yesterday we talked about three different the four different types of slopes. Right? If the if the line is going from it's going from left to right up, this is a, what kind of slope? Positive. Positive slope. If it's going down from left to right, it's a negative. If it's a horizontal line, zero, right? It has no rise, all run. This is a zero slope. And then you have all rise and no run. This is a undefined slope, right? Undefined slope. So this is a positive, negative, zero, undefined. Cool. So now today we're going to look at the slope intercept form and we're going to find the slope and the y intercept of that, right? So the slope intercept form looks like this y equals, we looked at it before, mx plus b. Okay? y equals mx plus b. That's on that that third page of your um, notes. M represents the slope, and B represents the y-intercept. Okay? That should be on your notes. Let me see. I'm going to use your assistant. Right. So, the linear, the linear equation written in y equals mx plus b form is in slope-intercept form. That goes on the line. The slope of the line is m. This is right this on your line. And the y-intercept of the line is b. Okay? That's what you're going to write that on. Right here, in this place here. What does the m represent? Slope. The slope. And what's the y-intercept? B. B. Right. So there you have it. Right. And then what form? Slope-intercept form. Okay? So, yes, sir. What's the? What's the? Is the y-intercept of the line, right? Oh, the the uh, the slope is the first one, and then the y-intercept is the second one. All right. So uh, let's look at let's look at uh, oh let's look at number two. Turn your paper over to the fourth page. I guess that'll be the third page. Let's look at number two. All right. Let's look at number two. All right. So number two, you got two points there. Y'all see the two points? What's the two points? Negative one, negative four, three, four, three, four. and three and four. Okay? Negative one, negative four, three and four. All right? Yesterday we also talked about finding the slope. All right? <clears throat> How would you find the slope of, the, uh, of those two? Yes, Alex? Uh, you would count up and then you go over. You count up and then go over? Yeah. Would you go over three or four? Four. Three, four. All right, let's see. Let's use the slope, let's use the slope formula. Right? Y2 minus Y1, X2 minus X1. What's, what's uh, Y2 in this problem? Uh, four. Four? Where's Y1? Three. Three. Negative Y1. Negative four. Right. Right. And then uh, X2? Negative one. Three and negative one. Very good. All right. Minus minus means plus, right? So you're going to get eight here. Minus minus means plus. So you're going to get four. 8 over 4 can simplify to be what? One half. Not 1 half. 2 over 1. So it's 2. The slope is 2. Right? So, so like, look, like, also look at that picture. Huh? It's number 2. It's number 2 on page 3. Alright, look at that picture. Look at that picture on page, page 2. Where does that line cross the y axis at? Where does it cross the y? At negative 2. Right? So in this case, this is m equals 2, and then the y-intercept, that's b, is what? Negative 2. Negative 2, right? So we looked at that graph and we found the slope, right? We looked at the graph and found the y-intercept. This is what it would look like in this form. It would look like this, y equals 2x minus 2, all right? This is slope-intercept form. All right, this is y equals mx plus b. In this case, m is 2, the b is negative 2. Okay, y'all good so far? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just said no. So I said no? Huh? Where you get the negative 2 came from the picture. When you look at this picture, this line crosses the y-axis at the negative 2, all right? This 2 came from this slope here, 8 over 4. It's 2 over 1, 
Okay. All right. So let's look at let's look at this problem here. It says uh, we're gonna drop all the way down to number seven. Y equals negative three over four x plus two. This is written in slope-intercept form, right? So, what would be the slope of this problem? What is m and what is b? What is m? Yeah, negative three over four. That is the slope. And what is b? Two. Two. Good. What about this one? Y equals five x. What is m and what is b? What is M? Five. What's B? Six. There's no B. What is what is the number that represents nothing? Zero. So again, Y equals M X plus B, right? There's no B, so this is technically plus zero. Right? Alright, give me a, I'm gonna give you another one. Uh blah 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 blah. What if I got Y equals negative 2x minus 4. What is m? What's the slope? Two. Negative, two. negative 2. What is the y-intercept? Negative 4. Negative 4. Cool. Huh? Okay. I mean, no, this is, this is the formula, right? If it's addition, it just represents a positive y-intercept. If it's negative, it represents a negative y intercept like this one. Okay? That's that. Okay? All right, let's let's go to uh let's look at this, let's look at this table uh three and four. Oh no, 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 let's look, let's look at number six. All right, so we're gonna write the equation in slope intercept form. Right? So let's look at number six. Number six is written out like this: 6x plus 4y equals 24. Okay? 6x plus 4y equals 24, right? We need to write this equation. What's the, what's the, uh, what form is this in right now? Oh. Yeah. Well, what's the, what's this form? Yeah. Wait, I'll say yeah. Very good. This is in standard form. How do you know it's in standard form? Yeah, well. Huh? Uh, hey, yeah, Alex, how was that? All right, Charles. Six X plus four. Yeah. The X and the Y on the same side. That's standard form. We need to change it to, so it's in standard form now. We got to change it to this form, which means we got to get the Y by itself, right? So we got to get Y alone in this problem here. So there's steps to it. First thing you want to do is you want to move the X, right? First thing you want to do is move the X. That's one. How will we move this X? Yeah, Alex. <laughs> yes, sir. Subtract the six x from both sides. Minus six x, right? So now you get four y equals negative six x plus twenty four. Thank you. All right. Does everybody understand why it still says negative six x plus twenty four and it doesn't be and it's not uh, eighteen? Because you can't like you can't do no negative six x close close is a, is a simpler reason why Charles it doesn't have an X on the variable yes they're not like time so they got to stay the same right they got to stay as they are all right cool now how do we get this to be Y how do we get the Y by itself here divide by what what do you divide by four very good. You divide everything by four. Good. So now you'll have y equals negative six x over four plus twenty-four over four. Can we simplify this? Can we reduce this? Yes. Alright, what will we reduce this to be? Huh? Not two thirds, but three halves. Good. So you'll have y equals negative three over two x plus what's this six all right so now it's in slope intercept form y'all see that now that it's in slope intercept form tell me what m is what's the slope 
three. Negative three over two. And what's the y-intercept? Six. Six. Good. The y-intercept is six. Yes, sir. How did I get negative three over two? You divided the negative six and four by what? Not by four. Huh? Say that. Two. Yeah. You divided this by two. That's we simplify by dividing the six over four by two. Six divided by two is negative three. Well, negative six divided by two is three, um, and then four divided by two is two. Yeah. Cool. All right. Let's let's rewrite another problem. All right. We can use our do not. I do not. We had. 3x plus 4y equals negative 12. All right, 3x plus minus 4, y equals so, Again, number one, the first thing you want to do, I have right down here. You move the x. The second thing you want to do is divide, divide, um, divide by the coefficient connected to the y, the number connected to the y. All right, so the number connected to the y, right? And then from there you simplify or reduce. Simplify. All right, so cool. First thing you want to do, move the x. How do you move this x? Minus what? Minus 3x. Minus 3x. Bam, so we got 4y equals um, 15x, right? No. No? 12? Okay. Cool. What's the next play? Divide by the coefficient connected to the what? Divide by four. Do we divide just this by four? Everything by four. So it's gonna be y equals negative three x over four minus Oh, okay. Alright, so look. The the slope is what? Huh? Negative three over four. You'll need to x for the slope. And then the y-intercept is three. negative three. When y'all worked that problem out, y'all got the y-intercept was negative three. Cool? Y'all got that? How we feel? All right, fist to five. I got it. Oh, I ain't got it at all. This is supposed to be. Micah, where you at? How you feel? All right, cool. All right. Huh? If you six, if you really understand it. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so this is slope intercept. I just lost that chart. So this is finding our, finding our slope and our y intercept from slope intercept form, right? Uh, we even reviewed some of uh, finding the slope using two points. And we re rewrote standard form to slope intercept form, okay? So, if you have any more questions, comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Mr. Do The Match, out.